Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host Nathan P. Butler. Let me warn you up front, the product we are looking at in this episode is not really a product. It does not really exist. Period. But fans have recreated it, and because this fan recreation shows up online so often, I want to make sure you were aware of what it was so that you aren't suckered if you think it's real, and so that if you do want to get a fan-created thing to fill a gap in a home video library, that you'd know at least what you're getting into when picking up something like this. So again, the main item featured in this episode does not exist officially. It is a fan recreation. And even though I've said that, somebody's still going to ask where I got a real one. Hmm. You may recall that back in the early 2000s, VHS was dying. In the United States, The Phantom Menace saw VHS release in both widescreen and full screen. Attack of the Clones in 2002, though, only saw a release in full screen on VHS. And when it came time for Revenge of the Sith to hit home video, the United States did not get any type of VHS release for Revenge of the Sith. Other regions, however, did, and we've looked at some of those. These are real. We looked at the one from the UK. For example, one of the first ones we looked at here, we looked at one that was a rental copy from Japan, and we looked at one with the great title Sithin Kosto from Finland. All legitimate. Yes, there were regions out there that had VHS releases of Revenge of the Sith, but not the United States. However, these days you can go on to eBay and do a hunt for Revenge of the Sith on VHS, maybe looking for one of the legitimate foreign copies to add to your collection to fill that gap, and you'll run into what looks like a legitimate copy. Now, Jerry Stevens, a gentleman that I had the privilege of uh, podcasting with for years with uh, Republic Forces Radio Network and with Star Wars Reports Rebels Roundtable when we were talking about Rebels, um, Clone Wars first and then Rebels in the other, um, he is someone who is also a collector of Star Wars home video stuff who kept seeing that same fan recreation of a supposed American version of Revenge of the Sith on VHS out there. Knowing what it was, rather than ignorant of what it was, as in many cases out there, uh, knowing what it was, he thought it would just be kind of cool to add to my Star Wars home video library as a placeholder for something that didn't actually exist. So he wound up picking up a copy and sending it my way. So what we're going to look at here is sort of what would a VHS copy of Revenge of the Sith have looked like if it actually had been released in the United States and is a fan recreation. And that is this. You find it on eBay quite a bit. Fan recreation. They've done the logo up here like the others. Star Wars with the three behind it with Revenge of the Sith, like we also see on DVD, for instance. They've put a Vader face behind it, very much like Episode One had Maul's face behind it, but the other black ones like um, Attack of the Clones or The Empire Strikes Back did not have any image in the black behind it. An image there, very much like we see in those other regions with the THX type stuff down here as well. Then a 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment logo, film logo, title, Palpatine with Anakin, THX, and Lucasfilm here. Uh, no product number because there is no product. And that could have been a dead giveaway anyway. Ooh, it's wrinkly wiener face Palpatine. Ooh, why would they put that on packaging? They don't, do they? No. The legit ones all have the battle on the spine. And it's only one spine because the legit ones tend to be in clamshell cases. The other side, similar layout, this time with Yoda and Obi-Wan. The top, logo with title. And the back, very much like we see in those other regions, right? A UPC that they've created here. The saga is complete. Information about the film, cast, crew, the logos and everything. Uh, film has been modified from its original version. It's been formatted to fit your screen and everything. So we'll find out that's not true. Down here on the bottom. So they did a really good job of recreating basically this type of packaging minus the spine image choice uh, to make it look like a U.S. version. Um, the other ones do have Vader faces. But the Vader face looks a little different than the Vader face that is used here, it seems, at least to my eyes. Right? What's inside it is just, you know, a regular VHS that's had some stuff put on it. They've created a label for it as well. Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, um, FBI warning stuff, THX, closed captioning, Lucasfilm, 20th Century Fox, 
uh, and the rating here. You might recall that in this era in the U.S., it would not have been a label. It would have been printed on the VHS. That's another giveaway that it's not real. No spine label or anything like that here. And they've actually taken the time to put stuff on here so it's not just the label and the packaging that gives you something to fill that spot in your collection with. Um, what this particular one has on it, and by definition, this must be a bootleg because there is no legitimate version of this for the U.S. Um, what they put on it here, as I took my notes uh, earlier, is a, a THX logo. The filmmaking has turned a corner featurette from the widescreen version of Phantom Menace for some reason. THX logo again, and then a widescreen version dubbed onto here of Revenge of the Sith. So the modify from its original version actually isn't true for what they've created here for the content of this fan recreation. Uh, maybe because they pulled it from DVD perhaps to put it onto the VHS using a US copy, but then again there was a US full screen DVD which would have made more sense, at least with their packaging choice. So again, is there an episode 3 VHS for the American market? No. No there is not. If you want a legit one, you have to go to some other market like Japan, like the UK, like Finland. Uh, the UK tends to be the one that's more often imported, but remember, PAL and NTSC is a thing when it comes to VHS. So if you want NTSC, you need to grab one, say, from Japan, whereas things from like Finland or the UK, those are going to be PAL and not play in an American player. But yes, there are fans out there making pretty nice looking recreations of what this could have looked like had it existed in the US to allow fans to fill that gap in their collection. Uh, my thanks to Jerry for sending this along. It's an interesting little thing to show and it'll definitely make a great little bit to put there into the segment um, in the last regular chapter of A Saga on Home Video 2nd Edition where it talks about knowing what exists and what doesn't. I'll put this in there right alongside that supposed 2015 uh, DVD only complete saga which also didn't exist to help tell people what is and is not really out there on the market. Good stuff. Thanks Jerry. With that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching. May the Force be with the home video viewers.